Ja, und ich bin's wieder, okay, so neue Haram. Hier mit meinem Let's Play von Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Und beim letzten Mal haben wir es so weit endlich geschafft, dass Blackwells Urteil aufgehoben wurde vom Richter. Also er, er ist jetzt völlig unschuldig und wir haben auch bewiesen, dass Athena nicht verantwortlich für den Tod ihrer Mutter ist, sondern ein Spion, welches nur bekannt ist als das Phantom. Da denkt man natürlich, oh super, haben wir es jetzt geschafft. Aber nein, Apollo musste ja kommen. Und ich kann mir, glaube ich, denken, warum. Denn letztendlich, wo ja, der Fall über Mattis ist ja vorbei. Aber was ist bitte schön mit dem Fall von Clay? Das muss ja auch immer noch geklärt werden. Nun dann, let's start. 20. Dezember, District Court, Court Room Nummer 4. Mr. Justice, please explain yourself! It's very simple. There isn't much to explain. The defendant, Miss Athena Sykes, might not be innocent. What are you talking about? The case from seven years ago has been settled! I'm not talking about the past here. I'm talking about the present case. It's still not clear who killed Clay Terran. But Apollo, why would you? Miss Sykes, please listen quietly to what I have to say. What in the world is Apollo trying to do? Your Honor, please allow me a little of the court's time. What? This is a trial for the case from seven years ago! Miss Blackwell, I'd like to ask a favor of, your, of you. Just as you lost someone close to you, I lost someone close to me too. I'm sure you want to know the real truth of what happened as much as I do. Apollo. <laughs> sure, you know I'm all full for the truth. Now, let's see you expose the princess' guilt. Judge, I give my permission. Continue with the trial. Very well! Is that all right with your prosecutor Edgeworth? Hm. The prosecution has no objections. Let's hear Mr. Justice's testimony. I'll have the police investigation report brought immediately. Not you too, Edgeworth! I really hope it's because you have something up your sleeve. Very well! Your opening statement, please, Prosecutor Edgeworth! As you wish. Let's review the case of the murder of Mr. Clay Terran. It was made clear in the previous trial that Solomon Starbuck was not his killer. Therefore, the true culprit was someone else. On that day, this culprit waited for the astronauts in boarding launch 1, when the two men made their escape out of the space museum. The killer attacked Mr. Terran with the same type of knife that was used seven years ago. The murderer then escaped into the Space Museum. Next, Director Yuri Cosmos switched the launch pads. After that, the culprit exited the Space Museum and escaped via boarding launch 2. Therefore, this trial must make clear who Mr. Terran's killer true, wa true killer was. In other words, We must discover who it was that escaped through the Space Museum that day. Thank you, Prosecutor Edgeworth! Mr. Wright, is the defense ready? Yes, Your Honor. I'd better rearrange my evidence. Okay. Dann haben wir jetzt wieder ein bisschen was ausgetauscht, damit das wieder zum aktuellen Fall übergeht. Gut. Dann müssen wir jetzt auch klären klären, wer Clay umgebracht hat. No then, Mr. Justice! Your testimony, if you please!
Oh, Apollo. I suspected Miss Sykes of the murder of Clay Terran. My growing suspicions were confirmed when this incriminating evidence presented itself. In addition, she's the only one who could have utilized the launchpad switch to escape. That is why. I wish to indict Miss Sykes on a charge of murder. Oh ha. Und auf einmal wird Apollo zum ultra großen Kameradenschwein. Was? Udo, Udo the Cold mit Zitronenbonbons. Mr. Justice, you realize you are charging your own co-worker with murder, don't you? Yes, your honor. Because that is the conclusion my investigation has led me to. But Apollo, why? How could you suspect me too? Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. I don't get it. Just what did you find out over the past few days to make you think this? Das müssen wir jetzt herausfinden. Und wie gut, dass äh, er es anscheinend schnell über die Runden bringen möchte. Na gut, ganz wie du möchtest. Kreuzverhör! Apollo Justice Accusations. Und in dieser Aussage können wir nichts weitermachen als alles angreifen. What first made you suspicious of Miss Sykes? It all started when Miss Sykes and I were investigating the crime scene. When she saw the weapon that killed Mr. Terran, my bracelet reacted. She said she'd never seen the knife before, but my bracelet told me otherwise. And then, every time after that, my bracelet would react when she talked about the case. Poor Apollo must have been beside himself during that investigation. I didn't know what to do or think. I couldn't even sleep. In that condition, I knew I wouldn't be any good in court. So I decided to wear an eye patch, so I wouldn't be able to perceive any of her tells. So that's why Apollo was acting so strangely. Ja, nicht, dass er auf die Idee kommt, plötzlich äh, Athena zu fokussieren. But the reason Miss Sykes unconsciously reacted to the knife that, that way is because she stabbed her mother's murderer with one identical to it seven years ago. Objection. But that knife was also the murder weapon that was used to kill Clay Terran. My bracelet could also react to her because she knew she was his killer too. Oh, uh, I guess he has a point. But my bracelet wasn't the only reason I became suspicious of her. Habt ihr eben dieses Grinsen gesehen und diese Haltung? Fans haben ja so spekuliert, dass er in diesem Moment einen auf Christoph Gavin gemacht hat. <lacht> es passt zumindest. Naja, weiter im Text. That's the lighter that was found in the Space Museum with her fingerprints on it, right? But even if it seems decisive, there must be other facts that that we don't know about it yet. If that's so, go ahead and prove it then. Look, honestly, I don't want to believe it's true either. But, but Miss Sykes was the only one who was in the Space Museum at the time of the murder. But Mr. Justice, Miss Sykes had absolutely no motive to kill Mr. Terran. Seven years ago, Miss Sykes lived at the Cosmos Space Center. It wouldn't be strange if she had some kind of connection to him. Besides, people sometimes kill for motives we can't even imagine. I know you've seen plenty of cases like that in your own career, Mr. Wright. Ich sag nur Christoph Gavin! 
Mord wegen angekratztem Stolz. I still can't believe this. How can you actually suspect Athena, Apollo? In addition. Äh, uh, jetzt, jetzt wollte ich gerade das nochmal vorlesen. Nicht nötig. Mann, bin ich dumm. Isn't it possible that somebody else used that same escape route? I'm afraid not, Mr. Wright. Why not? Recall, there's a security camera in Boarding Lounge 1 aimed at the launch pad door. It's the camera that captured Mr. Terran and Mr. Starbuck. But there's also another security camera in Boarding Lounge 2. It recorded Mr. Terran's killer, or rather, Miss Sykes coming out of the Space Museum. A camera in Boarding Lounge 2? First I've heard of it, but it makes sense. Athena said she had snuck into the Space Museum the night before the incident. And then was overcome and passed out until around noon the next day. I was out until about noon of the next day. I didn't even know about the explosions. When I woke up, nobody was around, so I just went out into boarding lounge too. That must have been when the camera captured her. And that's what made Apollo suspect her even more. But wait a minute. In that case, it most likely recorded the true culprit as well. Objection. That's a negative on that one too, Mr. Wright. In the footage taken after the incident, Miss Sykes is the only one who appears. What? Why? Order! Order the court! That can't be! What if it is? Then it is incredibly incriminating! Wasn't it you who proved in the previous trial that the way the culprit could escape was via the space museum after the pets had been switched? Hm. <laughs> A fact you previously proved turned out turned on its ear, leaving your client high and dry. I must say, did this vintage Phoenix right? <lacht> Danke, Edgeworth. Streu noch Salz auf die Wunde. Ich hab's kapiert. Ich liebe dich auch. Believing in your client to the end is a basic principle of good defense. Shouldn't you extend that same principle to your own co-worker? You're probably right. Maybe I'm not even fit to be a lawyer. However, I don't care. This case is special to me. Clay was my friend. And that's why I just have to know the truth. Apollo suspected his trusted co-worker of, for, of killing his friend. To dispel his doubts, he investigated on his own, but it only led to more doubts. Apollo must have been really struggling with this. Well, Apollo may have doubts, but... I'll say it again, Athena Sykes isn't a murderer. Then I have only one thing to say. Evidence is everything in court. Well, Mr. Wright, think you have the concrete proof to knock down my arguments? Hmm, your arguments have been very clear, Mr. Justice. And your facts appear to be indisputable. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you think of my theory? It looks like not even you can deny it. Miss Sykes was the only one who used the only possible escape route. Under these circumstances, there can be no other suspect that but the defendant. Unless... You think there was an alternative escape route? Is that what you think, Mr. Wright? Is that what you think, Mr. Wright? 
Is that what you think, Phoenix? Was there an alternative escape route? <sighs> yeah, come. Yes, of course there must have been. Just as don't ask me what. You're just bluffing again, aren't you? Me? Bluff? <laughs> no way. He knows me too well. It's fine, Mr. Wright. Even a bluff would suit me just fine. As long as you can. Clear up this doubt inside me! Wait! So is that what this is all about? I... I want to believe in Athena! I really do! But what is faith without doubt? That's why I need to question her guilt! So that once the truth finally comes out, I can really, fully trust her. So that you can... really trust me? Ich hasse diese aufploppenden Fenster immer! It seems your junior partner has just showed us what trials are truly all about. I believe you're right. We prosecutors paint stinking, stackling question every detail in pursuit of the defendant. While we lawyers believe in and defend our clients to the end. When both sides go all out against each other, that's when we discover the truth. Precisely. And when the battle is over, we will understand the true meaning of trust. That is exactly what trials are about. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I couldn't ignore the seed of doubt that was growing inside me. So I decided I needed to face it head on. No matter what the truth is that's waiting ahead, I won't be afraid! That's so like Apollo. Always are very earnest about things like this. Mr. Justice, I vote to dispel every last bit of doubt in your heart. Good. Because I want to believe in Miss Sykes again. You're really hoping there was an alternative route, aren't you, Apollo? Ach, Apollo. Dafür muss man ihn dann doch wieder lieben. Favorite character! Ah! Aber wirklich, was ist schon Glaube ohne Zweifel? So funktionieren Gerichte nun mal. Glaube und Zweifel. But if I use the process of elimination, there really aren't that many possibilities. Director Cosmos was at the southern exit. Leaving only the control room at the corridor to the space museum. Which door could the culprit have escaped through? Come on, Mr. Wright! Where do you think the culprit escaped to? Naja. Um, ja. Wir bleiben mal beim Space Museum Corridor. Na, das ist wohl. They really only could escape to the corridor to the Space Museum. All they had to do was use the unconscious Mr. Starbucks print to get through the door. Objection. It appears that all you're trying to establish is Miss Sykes' guilt. If the culprit used that route, the only exit would have been into boarding lounge too. The logical conclusion of your argument is that the killer is none other than the defendant. Uh, I knew it. That's the only way it could be, huh? If the culprit escaped into the corridor that leads to the space museum, 
Then I guess that's true. The only exit would have been into Warning Lounge too. But Miss Sykes was the only person captured by the Boarding Lounge 2 security camera. I investigated the crime scene thoroughly. But the only place the culprit could have escaped to was the Space Museum corridor. There weren't any other secret corridors or anything. So that leaves us with no other conclusion to draw but that the Sina Sykes was the culprit. What could the answer be? Was there really no other escape route? But hold on a second. What if... Where did those mysterious leaves we saw in the corridor come from? What if they're a clue to the culprit's real escape route? I think it is possible that the culprit escaped into the space museum, but then came out using a route other than into boarding lounge 2. Oh! Launchpad 1 and the space museum were switched after the bombing, meaning... The Space Museum corridor was moving along the rail at the time. Which is exactly when an alternative escape route opened up for our culprit. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Judging by the intense look in your eyes, I take it you're serious. Very well then, Mr. Wright. Do tell. Where could the culprit have gone from the museum corridor besides boarding lounge 2? Diese Frage klären wir beim nächsten Mal. Egal ob positiv oder negativ, Bewertung immer gern gesehen. Das war's von meiner Seite und wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Sehr geil.